Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. This is day two with the Game Stork. They call me the Game Stork because I deliver. So, uh, good bit of news today compared to yesterday, which was like one thing. And today we got more than one, which is obviously better and more. So, quick run now. We're talking about some stuff with Raymond. Is there a show on the way? What? Yeah. Also, we're going to give a quick rundown of kind of like the best RPGs on the Nintendo Switch for you because, hey, why not? It's a great time to play. And also, we're going to talk about some numbers and even look at some gameplay. So, let's do it. So, I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I'm actually a pretty big Raymond fan. I didn't know that I was a big Raymond fan until I got older. Did I say Raymond? Did I say that weird? Raymond. 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 Okay. Anyway, but this game, if you notice, has like some really good characters, uh, and kids seem to enjoy it. It's really cool. It's really lighthearted and comedic, and there's just a lot of good things going on. So the idea is, why not make a Raymond show? Well, it seems like this might be happening. The creators have teased an animated series, which is great, but all they've said about it is that it's comedy adventure inspired, which means it's going to be funny, and it actually seeks to accomplish something, which is is exciting for me. I don't know about you guys, but I'm really excited about the idea that this could be a show. The animation could be great, just like the newest set of games, which is awesome, right? Yeah. And the characters are really funny. I don't know about you, but my youngest son still watches Rabbids, and I would love for that to switch maybe to something like Raymond, because I've seen those episodes five million times, and trust me, young kids enjoy physical humor, so this is going to be right up their alley. And the fact that they use the word adventure... Adventure. Adventure! Means that maybe it has something for us too, right? Right? Isn't that the line? Now that I've done that cut joke a few times, uh, let's move on. Uh, let's give a quick rundown of the best RPGs according to me on the Nintendo Switch. And there are some that I left off of here on purpose. Uh, but I just wanted to give you a few, like an idea of something that you might want to play. Because there are some great games coming. But at the same time, you might have missed one or two of these. And I want to make sure that you get a chance to play. As many of these as possible because they're good games. And they honestly, I don't know if you are, but I'm a, I'm a huge fan of the JRPG, first of all. Second of all, I'm a huge fan of a, the Western RPG and so many other types of games, right? But there are some really good ones coming. The first I put on my list is Xenoblade Chronicles 2, which is obviously an early um, game that came out for the Nintendo Switch. I also reviewed, if you want to look right here or right here, wherever I put it, I don't know. Uh, but I gave a great review for this, and I adore this game. Even the DLC for this game, which is kind of a game in itself, I highly recommend... Um, I just, if you have not played this game, just stop what you're doing. It's fantastic. It's wonderful. Yes, some of you guys in the comments are probably going to agree with me because why wouldn't you? This is number one on my list for a reason, okay? Uh, it is very, very, very good. And there's like an hour of content. You're going to be like 60 hours into this game still learning the combat system. And to some people, you're like, that seems daunting. But it's really not. It works you into it and develops into something that's really tough. Okay, so there's also another game that just came out on the Nintendo Switch that I put on the PS4 that I adore, and it's Dragon Quest XI S. And this game, if you have not played, play it. Oh my goodness, it's so good. The story's good. The exploration's good. Everything in this game is good. Love the characters. My kids sat through the entire thing watching, so it's very uh, cinematic. The voice acting is very good. I've heard some people say that the voice acting wasn't, and that it was kind of overdone as far as the... Um, like accents and stuff go, but I just saw it as a good opportunity to have some fun. And if you go into it like that, not like overly doing it, you know, you won't be so butt hurt about it. If you are butt hurt, uh, then just change it to the Japanese voice acting because that's really good too. Tales of Asperia Definitive Edition is really good. This is on Nintendo Switch and it's also not that expensive. So this is one that perhaps you should go and get. Final Fantasy 7 VII and 8. Highly recommend both of those if you haven't played them. Shame on you, but they're both available now. And then also one that surprised me was Earthlock, and I really enjoyed this game. I don't know. I put this one on here instead of Undertale because Undertale's kind of been overdone so much. But if you haven't played Undertale, do that. But also, maybe give Earthlock a chance, but don't put that first on this list. There are other games on this list that are better. 
So next up, really quick, I just want to mention the Nintendo Switch is selling like hotcakes still, right? It's selling so good that Nintendo's celebrating 10 million units being sold just across Europe. This thing is selling wonderfully, and the software that's coming out is only going to make it better. And I'm really excited about that. Uh, when Nintendo succeeds, I feel like I succeed because I'm a huge fan. And the more success they have, the more consoles they'll make, the more games they'll make. And yeah, so... I want every company to succeed, all of them, even you, Xbox. That's a joke. I'm just playing. Anyway, so let's just celebrate that. Anyway, we're going to jump right into some gameplay because I want you guys to see this awesome game. I don't know if you know this about me. I'm a huge ukulele fan, okay, because I was a huge Banjo-Kazooie fan. And I really enjoyed the first ukulele that came out on the Nintendo Switch. It was a lot of fun. I liked it. It wasn't a perfect game by any means, but it was one that really brought me back into the world of 3D platforming and did it in a really good, effective way. Now, this game is completely different. This is a new release, Ukulele in the Impossible Lair. Uh, I was so anxious to play this game, I not only suggested or uh, suggested, I, I requested a copy. Okay, requested. But I couldn't wait, so I just bought it because I want to play it really bad. So that's what we're going to jump into. This game is beautiful, it's awesome, it's fun, and it's one of the best 2D platformers I've played in a long time. So here we go. Remember, I'm the game stork because I deliver, and let's jump into some gameplay. Game stork, delivering news, reviews, and playthroughs like a newborn baby. Hey, what's up guys and gals? It seems that I had the microphone off and that's fine. But here we go. <laughs> we're right in the first stage. Um, so we're just gonna jump right in. The ukulele is so cool. Like I love ukulele. It's really fun to do. Um, the first one especially was super fun. Okay, we're gonna ruin this secret channel. So let me see if I can't get up there from the other boxes. Yeah, alright. Maybe I can do like a uh, Oh, there we go. Close, but no cigar. Yeah, there we go. Alright, cool. So we got our first little secret uh, uh, coin. Don't want to miss those or any other secrets. So, okay, well, anyway, I was really skeptical when I first saw this game. I was a huge fan of the first It. The return of the genre, and all of a sudden I saw that they had made this game into a platform. So when I saw that, obviously I was skeptical, heartbroken, kind of that kind of led to me having to trust and having to just, you know, whatever, give it a shot. Well, as soon as I saw this thing in action, I was all about it. Like it was just super, super good. It flows good. It's beautiful. It's awesome. It's super cool. And I figured, if nothing else, I would just go to the Cool little red leaf thing is uh, keeping out so many clues for me to publicly rich and buy a little Timmy a turkey finally for his Thanksgiving slash Christmas dinner. No little Timmy doesn't, you know, he doesn't have Christmas. What right about Thanksgiving? Who's gonna buy that one? So our right button, gonna say, uh, perhaps, oops, I missed it. Okay, well, there goes that. Pro player didn't get it. So, we got our some cannons, and now we just have to uh, kind of time to get all those quills, because, hey, we want to load them up. Can't mess those boxes, just gonna roll through. I just like, uh, I'm having a, a blast with 
last just a minute. Well, we should maybe have to go to this game in the future as far as uh, power-ups and stuff, and I can't play it all the way through and possibly review it because I just really like it. Like, I can't say enough about these characters. I really think that they would do well as a, even just like an animated show. So that's cool. That's number two of those coins. I was kind of afraid that I did. It's like a so my question, hit me with your quills now. Hit me with your quills now. I want your quills now. Just fire away. You weren't expecting it, but I got you, okay, man? No! See, this is my first playthrough of this. It's terrible. I missed that. It's probably my next secret in the this game. Because I ruined it. I busted the box preemptively for surveying my environment properly. We did it. It's terrible. So when you play this game, you know, go do that. See, I dig it. Like, I love the there, I like the characters, I like the lately, I like the wall, the other See, there's the proof, I missed one. And it's gonna be right out there, right in the jump. The number three, I'm gonna have to replay the first stage, and I'm really upset about it. Mm. Yeah, if you're a hundred percenter, this should be a good game for you. Apparently, there's a good game to play tools, and also tools too. Um, but this should be one that is really kind of enjoyable. And you see what I did again? Another mistake. I should have waited until I got a comb. Jumped on his head, you know. Got those quills up there. But no, instead of doing that, I had a mistake. Let's bust these here quills here. Alright, let's bust those quills. Everyone gets a quill. Two quills for you. So far, not that bad. Not that good, but you know, not that bad either. <laughs> this can can only be open music, but it's like, oh, this one. Oh, I see. Oh, come on, man. What you trying to do to me, man? Huh? Maybe there'll be some time to get for you. I love how it's like a turtle shell from Mario. Except it's not infinite, like it uh, obviously ended. So, yeah. But if you haven't noticed, this game is legit. It's, uh, everything is just on point. The control, the, the jumping, it feels nice and weighted. Uh, which, it's not so weighted as to be like a Donkey Kong. Okay, it's more weighted along the line of just right. Maybe a little heavier. A little heavier than something like Mario, but it is super duper. I dig it, it's playing good, it looks good, it's, it's nice, and uh, nice! Ah, I keep using the wrong button, because I'm getting used to my buttons here. And I didn't get you, and uh, that's number five. I suppose that's okay, considering. I just did a bad job. Alright, so we're gonna pick this up and oh, I'm sure there's something to get for you guys. Not today, I'm gonna have to come back into this level. There's the battalion! Let's smash him free! Battalion rescue! Day's clear. Anyway guys, um, thanks so much for watching. This is ukulele and, and the possible player I'm really excited about. Holly just already just yeah. playing the page and I had a little more of this. Holly is recommended. It. It's super good. If you haven't played the first one, go do yourself a favor and get it if you like your platformers. Otherwise, like and subscribe below for all things into the Switch and all things awesome. This is the game store. Take comment that because I